All right, chip of the day, or I should say chips of the day. Yes, this is a twofer. We're gonna have uh, two chips today. Uh, the first is a 74 AUC 1G17, and the next one will be a 74 LVC 2G17. So they're both 74 17s, which is a lot like a 74 14, except uh, they're non-inverting. So it's a Schmidt trigger, non-inverting uh, buffer, real nice device. Um, and so we have two different versions. And um, if you uh, see the one G, that's one gate, and the two G, that's two gates. So one of them's gonna have two devices, the other's gonna have one device, all right? And they're in different packages, um, yeah. So there's, uh, it's really hard to see here. Maybe we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll show a picture here, but um, uh, one of them's bigger than the other. <laughs> okay, this one's the small one. This one's the big one. Now they're both available in odd packages. Um, so like this particular part can come in an SOT23.5, an SC50, an SOT5X3, or a BS. BGA, so you can get it in all kinds of different flavors. And this one here also comes in a slew, a slew of flavors. Now I happen to have an SOT23 and an SOT5. So uh, which one's the SOT5? Not even on the list here. Oh yeah, SOT5. So. Uh, one of them is the teeny tiny package, and then one of them is the SOT package. All right, so um, these also have uh, different letters on the front. This one is an AUC, and this one is an LVC, low voltage CMOS. So this part is good uh, for up to five volt operation. Um, typically you use these at 3.3, but they, they um, Data sheet says uh, you can use them anywhere from 1.65 to 5.5. So they're five volt logic um, usable. So that's great. Uh, pretty healthy currents on the output. The other one is a lower voltage. All right, so this one, uh, this is the AUC part. Uh, the supply voltage is 0.8 to 2.7. Yeah, you can run these at 0.8 logic levels, 0.8 input voltage, right? VCC is 0.8. That's that's just nuts. <laughs> that's really, really small. Um, yeah, so uh, we will operate this one. Let's see. Let's try him out at 5.5 volts. I mean, 5.5. 2.5. half. Shoo. Two and a half volts. We'll get we'll give this guy a go at two and a half volts, and the other one should be good for two and a half as well. All right, so let's let's give him a go. All right, so here's my little part here. It is uh, this is the one gate variety, and uh, if I have a low going in, a low comes out. If I have a high going in, a high comes out. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. Schmidt trigger. Now, if you haven't seen a Schmidt trigger videos. Uh, take a look at my videos on 7414s and it'll show you how the Schmidt trigger works. I won't be demonstrating that today. All right, so let's uh, let's take this one out and replace it with this one. This is the two gate version. So the pinouts are going to be different on these things. Let's just, let's look, take a look at that. All right, so this is the part I'm currently using. It has a no connect on one. The inputs on two, the outputs on four, and then VCC and ground. Uh, so let's take a look at the other part and you'll see it's much, much different. Uh, we have uh, power and ground on five and two and then one, six and three, four. All right. So we need to wire, uh, rewire my, uh, my proto board and uh, try this one out. All right, so I've rewired this one for the correct voltages. And uh, if we have a low going in, we have a low going out. Got a high going in, we got a high going out. And we have two, uh, two gates, so we could uh, do two different things. So there you go. All right, so I'm so intrigued with that 0.8 volt VCC. Let's give it a try. Let's put this board back in. Um, let's see. 
His pinout was uh, three and six. Okay, let's try it at uh, two and a half volts, make sure I still have it wired up correctly. And low and high. Well, we have a low and a low. Low and a low. Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, wrong. There we go. Okay. Was wired up wrong. Okay, so low and high. Okay, good. All right, so let's uh, turn it down to 0.8 volts. 0.8 volts. Okay, now I don't think the LED is going to light. Did it light? I don't, no, it's not going to light. So we'll have to use an oscilloscope to take a look at these signals. All right, let's uh, increase the uh, yeah half a volt. There's there's 0.8 volts, and if I go down low, it's zero volts, low and high. Let's uh let's go ahead and test this out with a signal generator. Uh, let's see here, amplitude. We want to do. Let's do a um, 0.8 volt amplitude. and an offset of 0.4 volts. All right, let's take a look at that. Uh, okay. Let's do a ramp. Let's trigger on that. There we go, so there's our ramp. And then let's bring in a channel two. And yeah, there we go. There's our channel two firing. Uh, let's see, two, let's see, uh, times 10. Yeah, that's times 10. Two, that's times 10. Let's get them both on the same scale. Oops. All right, and the same, same zero. Yeah, there we go, wacka, wacka, wacka. That's pretty amazing. Let's see it's uh, firing at um, firing at about 0.55 volts and 0.3 volts. <laughs> that's just that's just nuts. <laughs> that is just that is just nuts. Super super low level logic. 0.8 volts. I never thought I would see it. Um, Obviously, in the days of diodes, silicon diodes, yeah, you can't do this. But uh, with fancy shocky stuff, I guess you have really, really low voltages. So, yeah, there you go. That's amazing. That's just amazing. Okay, that was Chips of the Day. A 74 AUC 1G17 and a 74 LVC 2G17.